Oregon State got here by diving their way through the opening round against Seattle. Two to one in double overs. Williams is onside. Williams, incredible speed, enters the box right side. Williams knocked off of the ball and it is played out. No call on it and Castro able to strike it out near midfield where Dahlman takes over for SMU. All of the beef is trying one of these set pieces now, crossing it in. Pretty good ball, but it is ricocheted out. Salvo gets a drive on it. And Salvo is wide right on his attempt. Alex Salvo really gave that one a ride from just outside. Round, testing Garcia to see how he handles a wet ball in the grass. Pino with purpose on this angled run. Pino out front. Dolman gives it a look. A ride, a big rebound, and it is in for the first goal of the night. And it's Steve Berkowitz for SMU. Same deal there for Dolman. Hard shot, low on the ground, forcing a rebound, and great job by Berkovitz, the freshman of the year in the American Athletic Conference, following shots. Coaches tell you that from the year you start playing soccer as a little kid. First of all, what about a run from Kieran Pino? Dribbling through four, handing it off to his senior striker. There's the rebound, and there's number six, waiting for it, and tucks it into the back of the net. Berkovitz gets the goal, but terrific play by both Pino and Dolman. Ante Williams, who has a joiner as well. Here comes Cortijo up the left side. He's a playmaker. Cortijo sends it toward the mouth of the goal. It's the eyes of the defense off to Bailey Sparks. Flicks it for Dolman. Dolman at the edge of the 18. Out front, Castro settles it and whistles it. Wide and a little bit left. Castro, the senior from just up the road in Flower Mound, barely missing the frame. You were absolutely right with the Mustangs trying to give the Beers a little bit of a different look because of the overlapping runs. You suddenly had Petraeus in the middle uh, where Dahlman usually is. Dahlman goes out to the right, and that's a that's an unfamiliar look. Here's Petraeus one more time trying to get something started. Petraeus down to the goal line. Great move by Petraeus trying to get something started and chips it all the way over. Had a really good look. Very, very promising run by Petraeus. As he tried to cross it, somehow he got underneath it. You see him get around the gun here. Once Alex Petraeus gets a step on a defender, you're not going to catch him. Almost. In. It will, rest assured, over the course of the night. A long ball and in behind. Trying to throw it in front to Farrington. And Farrington's drive is blocked by Hald. But a redirect and a goal for Oregon State. And an outstanding job by Arno Fardos. Arno Fardos took one bounce on it and drives it near post past Cole Johnson. And we are level at one, the equalizer here in Dallas. That shot by Farnes was fantastic. You see the cross into the middle. And Farrington's shot, as you said, snuffed out by Hald. And Farnes runs onto that ball and basically hits a short hop about six inches off the ground and crushed it. And we talked earlier on the other end about how hard it is to hit a wet ball out of the air cleanly, and Farnes just did it. Beautiful shot to equalize this game for the Beavers. Arnel Farnes, his fourth goal this season, the honorable mention all Pac-12 player. Who didn't play a lot last year, missed the end of last season. Into the 18, his shot is blocked. Right back out to Bynum. His shot redirected and into touch for a corner kick for the SMU Mustangs. Nice job by Bynum pressing up into the offensive end. He got a left-footed shot away. Two to All-American. Hauled the serve in, looking back post. Nice job by Oregon State to get it out of there. Newman had that first header, but Sparks is right back on it. Touches it back off. Castro looking to serve it in and on the back post. Westergren just over the top. Really good idea for SMU. Westergren settled it, but then pops it over the top of the crossbar. And you see him yelling at himself. He would love to have that back because he was so close to the goal. But this is such a difficult play he's trying to make. Castro flicks it across. And Westergren got underneath that ball while he also had he had the majority of possession in the first, let's say, 15, 20 minutes. But I think the field is definitely turned. Oh, another dangerous opportunity. The redirection 
attempt is just beyond the outstretched left foot of Ellis Spikner, who he said just came in, and Spikner sliding in, almost able to put one home. We were that close to a two-goal swing in just a matter of minutes. That's a great restart opportunity. Only a two-man wall. Here's the drive in. It's punched into the air and out. A really good run at it from the top by Javier Armas. And Armas redirecting that one up over the bar. This ball comes in at 100 miles an hour. And Armas got it. Joining Newman, throwing on the brakes. Really nice move against Pino. Goes across the way. And Mitchell is there to head it out for SMU, but it's kept in. And Armas just stepping through into the top of the 18. The give and go and give and go and score! Dante Williams on the other end as the Beavers build from the middle and go up 2-1. to one. Both teams now have scored on a rebound off the opposing goalkeeper. And you're right, uh, Arnas was able to just walk through the back end on the left side of this uh, SMU defense. Cole Johnson turned away the first shot, which from such short distance was a really impressive save as he got a knee down. But there's Dante Williams in a wide open goal waiting in front of him. Greg Dalby talked about how good his second unit was. And Spike were a big part of that, the one to put the shot on goal that Johnson was equal to, but it's remaining. SMU scoring first, but Oregon State getting the equalizer from Arnau Farnos, and then Dante Williams puts Oregon State ahead. Trying to stretch out this Oregon State uh, team that has been playing in a compact unit in the middle of the field because you've got to stretch them out in order to find some space, and he has to play a wet ball, and it ends up going straight up in the air, almost a very dangerous chance Here's again. Here's Farrington just wide on that left-footed drive. You talked about it off the top. He can use both feet, and Farrington Gives that one a ride just past Johnson. He's got a cannon with both feet, and he, they play in the seventh minute. They scored on it, on, and they get another one here. It's Pino whistling it toward the goal. It is off the bar. Kept alive inside and over the top by Castro. A great look by Pino. You can't do it much better than that. Oh, but they're going to get a look here on replay. And our lead official, our referee, Dimitar Shabdorov, is going to go to the replay look after this deflection to see, and we'll see what he is trying to look at. I don't know if maybe trying to see if it didn't cross the goal line, perhaps, and then ricochet out. Castillo's trying to get really the only experience for this. OSU team. Here's Petraeus with a chance. Petraeus plays it out wide. The cross by Dolman is behind. The activity level by Oregon State has been off the charts, but Berkovitz gets the takeaway. Berkovitz has help on the right side. Berkovitz sees it cross in front. Armas is on it. And goal. Here's Farrington trying to hold up. Still on it. So strong on the ball. Dumps it off for Farnos. Wide for Williams. Williams inside. Big. A rebound and an easy goal for Logan Farrington to put Oregon State on top three to one. The combination of Williams and Farrington getting it done. We talked in pregame about how this is not a one-man offensive line. These two have been relentless, and Farrington was a little bit quiet in the first half, but Dante Williams creates this play, freezes Kieran Pino a little bit with a head fake, Gets the shot, and Cole Johnson did a nice job to get a hand on it, but then you see him from his knees just throwing his hands out. There, he knows there's no way. Traversing up top, dumps it off, settling it down. Castro chips it in. Farrington, the one-timer, well over the top. is new this year. All of them are new to him. It's his first year. Oh, great opportunity again for Farrington. Johnson, a kick save. Farrington gets it back. It's blocked out front. Williams can't reach it. And Bailey Sparks just pounds it away to give his defense another opportunity. We can talk all, talk all we want about to do it once more. 
But uh, the Mustangs now def defensively have changed their shape a bit. A bad giveaway and goal number four. Farrington finds Mitro Castro. And the Beavers are pouring it on up four to one in Dallas. Such an unselfish play by Logan Farrington. Here's a guy who's sitting on 14 goals. And nobody would have said a word if he had pulled the trigger and tried to find number 15. But he saw his teammates streaking in on the left side all alone. Here he gets the ball at the top of the box and three defenders closed in on him, which means that somebody somewhere is wide open. And you see Cole Johnson at the end with his hands up in the air. It's sort of a helpless feeling. SMU has not given up four goals in a match this season. Kieran Pino and Bailey Sparks. Feels like a must-have for SMU. Here's Pino. Wow! That was a great look, but Castillo was right there on it. Pino whistled it 100 miles an hour, but meanwhile, Oregon State also bringing Ellis Spikner at the next opportunity. Good drive into the box. Williams settles it down. It's goal number five. The feed by Farnas. And then Williams coming up with the brace. What a night for Dante. And what an incredible evening for Oregon State. Beautiful play by Dante Williams. And again, Maybe it's inappropriate to harp on his size, but here he is, the smallest guy on the field. Settles the ball quickly in the box where there are other bodies around. You see Bynum, you see Westergren, another one headed toward uh, the back of the net. Spielberg, a nice job to find Petraeus. Petraeus into the middle. Dangerous look for Petraeus going back post, and he misses. Alex Petraeus. About as good of a look as he's had in quite a while. Just misses. Nice job, but Petraeus is just keeping his balance as he gets past the defender. You see him get past to gone. Um, Farrington was yes. 20 or 15 yards away from Cole Johnson at, at almost point blank range. Here's Farrington again coming through the middle. Farrington chips it left and in. Farrington has his brace. Goal number 15 of the year. And Oregon State up six to one. A head-shaking night for Cole Johnson and the SMU defense. They cannot believe it. It's all come together, though, for Oregon State tonight. Looking like a team of destiny. I don't know if that shot was deflected. And then there. Right back spot. Cole Johnson and the defense trying to wall up against this corner kick and cleared off the line and just barely by SMU. It looked like that was headed for the back of the net again off the deflection. But Johnson able to keep it out. You see the congestion there. And Castro's the one who clears it away after. Farnos is the one who got his head on it and send it into orbit and let your team regroup. Beaver's still advancing even with the big lead. And no foul given as SMU advances. But Oregon State once more. Stepping into the 18, a turn, a drive, another goal! The extra point for the Beavers. And it comes from Ellis Spikner. His fourth goal of the year. Seven to one. Cole Johnson is beside himself, as every goalkeeper is when you give up a goal. But I think to your point from a few moments ago, he has been absolutely without a chance on a vast majority of them. This is going to look like a ridiculous number with seven goals on the board, but do you think he even had a prayer on three of them? Two of exactly. And you can blame luck, you can blame health, you can blame weather, you can blame whatever you want. I don't think Gris The Beavers leave no doubt. Up two to one at the break and pouring on five more in the second half. The unranked Beavers move on to the quarterfinals of the NCAA tournament with a seven to one win over SMU. Oregon State moves on to play either North Carolina or Hofstra 
for a chance at a college cup berth. Absolutely incredible performance by Oregon State. Greg Dalby and his staff have put together a terrific team. Every coach in every sport tells you that they want to have their team playing its best at the end of the year. I think we can safely say that uh, Greg Dalby and his staff have